We might deal with my quad, my life will come. We shall live. Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a black bars effect very easy and quick. This effect will look pretty cool if you make it first a speed ramp in reverse and then make this effect. Check how this effect looks like in reverse. In case if you don't know how to speed ramp in reverse, check this video's description. I will leave a tutorial link there. And now let's begin. First of all I will mask out the wheel, because I want that wheel to be in focus and once black bars will appear, the wheel will be above it and it will be in focus, in your case you can mask any part you want. To mask I will use Mocha AE, in Mocha let's select an elliptical tool and mask the wheel as smooth as possible. Once you are done, enable perspective and click on tracking button. If the mask moves, make sure to stop there and correct the mask, then track it again. Once you are done correcting and tracking, click on save button and close Mocha AE. Expand matte now and click on create AE masks. Duplicate your clip and rename top one to wheel only. Select bottom layer and delete Mocha AE on it, then press M on your keyboard and delete the mask as well. Let's create new solid layer now. I will name it black bar 1 and make sure solid size is the same as your composition, then change color to black and then hit OK. Now make sure black bar layer is below wheel layer and not above. Let's add linear wipe effect on it now. I will change wipe angle to positive 18. If you don't like the angle, you can change it how you will enjoy more. Now make sure to set transition completion to 100% and then scroll to the moment where you want the effect to start from and click on transition completion stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Now let's scroll somewhere in the middle and I will change completion to around 55%. Then let's scroll to the end and change completion back to 100%. Let's quickly check it. Nice, now press U on your keyboard to open created keyframes, then select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click there and select, edit speed graph, make a smooth curve like mine and then let's check it. Nice, let's close graph editor now and then let's duplicate the black bar layer, I will rename top 1 to black bar 2. And now I will change the angle to around 190 degrees and then let's check if everything looks cool. Nice, I like it, but now let's add blurriness on the original video. Select your very bottom clip and add Gaussian blur effect on it. Scroll to the moment where your first linear keyframe is and then click on blurriness stopwatch icon. Now scroll to the middle linear white keyframe and bump up blurriness until you are happy with it. Finally scroll to the last keyframe and there change blurriness back to zero. Press U on your keyboard now and select all keyframes, then press F9 on your keyboard and go to graph editor, and here simply make the same curve you did for linear wipe. Let's check it now. Everything looks cool, but if you look closely here, the wheel looks so weird once original video gets blurry, let's quickly fix it. Select wheel only layer and press M on your keyboard to open mask. Expand mask settings now and slightly increase expansion until it's fixed. Also feel free to bump up feather a bit and we are done. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.